A tumor this size is very dangerous. Do you have any family? Oh, gotta take this. Talk about why you chose the film. Um, did you just read the script and go, this is fantastic, I get to blow away teddy bears and small babies, or? <laughs> well, I auditioned. I, I didn't have a choice, but I did really, really, really want the part because when I first read it, it was, you know, girls my age, we audition for roles for like the hot cheerleader or like, they're stereotypes. They're the hot cheerleader, they're the, you know, the goth girl or like, you know, just, just really generic characters. And this girl was so different as you probably saw. And, um, and it was just, it, it excited me so much. And, and the script was really smart and it had a message and, and it was, it, it had a point of view and it was, so refreshing, and so I just went in there and I gave it 110%. I thought it went, I thought it went well. Very well. You did very well. <laughs> Thanks. And the hot cheerleader roles have passed me by, so I was, oh, I was looking for anything. Shame. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I've known Bob since one crazy summer. We've been friends since then, and uh, I was in Shakes the Clown, his first film, and uh, I was when I saw World's Greatest Dad, I just thought, boy, he's gotten really good. And uh, I, I thought that movie was amazing. I was real jealous I wasn't part of it. And so when he sent me to the, the script to this, I was really excited to be back in the Bobcat Players. And um, he didn't tell me what role. And uh, he said, Frank, and the guy. And that, that just blew me away. And uh, so, yeah, I jumped at it because I, I was excited to play such a beefy part and uh, in a great role and with a message. We had an absolute blast doing the film, and it, we say it was like movie camp in the fact that uh, Bob surrounds you with nice people, and if anybody was a jerk on the set, literally, it was, they were gone the next day, and uh, everybody's just happy to be making film. <laughs> yeah, making making movie for art's sake, and uh, you know, I'm changing in a van, she's changing in a car. Uh, it wasn't like we were. No ego. I'm going off to my bus. I'll be back when you have this right. You know, yeah. there was there was none of that. That's great. I'll be carrying these works. sandbags, too, in the meantime. <laughs> hey, Creepy. Isn't the schoolgirl thing a little played out? Don't move and don't make a sound. If you want the car, just take it. My parents got me the wrong one anyways. Yeah, that's a tragedy. Did you just kill Chloe? Awesome. I can't own a gun because I don't trust anybody I live with. Anyway. <laughs> uh, no. I, some of them I do. But it was interesting. On the way over here, I was talking to my daughter, who I believe is about your age. Oh, yeah. And she was saying, she wrote an article that said that there were more immigrants choosing to leave America. <laughs> and I thought, Aww. appropriate conversations I'm walking into here. What are your thoughts on it? I just thought, well, that's interesting. Well, you know, they used to come just because, you know, Dallas put it out there that this is America. <laughs> we're going to be rich. We're going to have a ranch. Now, you know, what are we putting out there? This is America. We're completely vapid. And we've got no intelligence whatsoever. Yeah. And we're as mediocre as could be. And we're, our country's as, it's like putting mirrors at the border. Our country's just as crappy as yours. You might as well stay there. Yeah. And now they're exiting. That's, that's good news. That's interesting. Hey, good news. <laughs> because they kind of, you know, there's a fine line you two walk as far as she's obviously got, wants, you would like a little more with Frank and Frank. Uh, Frank kind of nips it in the bud early yeah. and, and, you know, uh, I've got kids that are older than her, so I, I kind of go to a parental thing around her anyway. Or, but actually, we're co-workers. We're not, I'm not parental. I'm just an old curmudgeon. But, uh, I, our relationship was great in the fact that, you know, she was the, the opposite of me. She brought so much energy to it. But um, it does walk a line of, you know, well, yeah, it wouldn't be bad raising goats in France with you for, you know, that no, don't go there. But uh, so, you know, he goes back and forth on the, on the creepy thing a little bit, but not much, because Bob wrote that fabulous speech in the beginning. And, uh, you know, it is yeah. time for American males to aim a little high, higher than raping chicks, kids. <laughs> I, I had the line right in the movie. <laughs> he did. Here. Well, now it brings up ad living. Was there much ad living between? I mean, it just, it, like I said, it looked like it was a fun film to watch, so I assume it was also a fun film to film. And it it was, there, there were moments where we stuck right to the script. There were moments, there were scenes like the Russian roulette scene where we're using the balloon. That was completely ad-libbed. And there, there were other scenes that were 50-50 ad-lib scripted, but. Yeah, it, it, went, it ran the full gamut. And, yeah. uh, you know, Bob would be a little bit hypocritical if he asked, asked us for word perfect, you know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely.
There, there's stuff I work on where it has to be absolutely, like when you work on Mad Men, it has to be word perfect. You can't change anything. So there, there was a freedom there to, uh, to put in stuff that you thought was funny or the stuff that you hated more uh, than what Bob hated. And, uh, but it was both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> What are you looking at, old man? I'm recording this. Thanks for not talking during the feature. Thanks for turning off your cell phone. You're welcome. Why have a civilization if we're no longer interested in being civilized? Hey, buddy. What's wrong? A lot. A lot of crazy people out there. <laughs> I only want to kill people who deserve to die. Frank. What? This is more fun than killing yourself, right? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I know it's not normal to want to kill, but I am no longer normal. You really gotta take both those spots? Yeah. <laughs> 